Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Concerning the president of Zambia, Mr. Hakainde Hichilema, the spirit of God said to me, there is too much envy around you, too much envy around you. And it has to do with the very people you are leading. So the spirit of God said, you must be very careful where you step your feet because there's too much envy around you. There are certain events that took place in the past that should have ended your life, but the Spirit of God said he stood for you, he watched over you, he fought for you, so your purpose and your destiny can be fulfilled for the people of Zambia. But even now, even now that you have come into the office of presidency, the Spirit of God said there is still yet another attack of death because in the realms of the spirit as i'm speaking right now for the president of zambia your grave has already been dug in the realms of the spirit and the purpose why the grave has been dug is because your enemies i saw three men three very strong men who have dedicated themselves and have given themselves over to ensure that you don't finish your tenure in office as the president of zambia and the spirit of god said there are certain people who are very influential that were around you that have already fallen dead and you are the main target and these three people are well fortified and well determined and in the realms of the spirit they are doing everything in their power to ensure that you don't finish your turn in office as the sitting president of zambia and therefore the lord said your grave has already been dug by your enemies and you have to seek for prayer you have to seek to be fortified in the realms of the spirit even as i say you should seek for prayer and you should seek to be fortified the spirit of the lord made me understand that even you spiritually you are not a weak person spiritually and i was happy to hear from the spirit of god said spiritually you are not just there spiritually you are strong but it is not enough your strength in the realms of the spirit is not enough and that is why the spirit of god is bringing it to my attention to ensure that as you stay in office you finish your turn in office and you don't die in office i promise myself and i stood on the altar of fire nation and made this emphatic declaration that so long as i remain as a prophet a gate man for the nation of zambia in the realms of the spirit no sitting president will die in office i made this statement a few years back and we have been standing in the gap in the realms of the spirit to pray for those who are in leadership position to ensure that especially sitting presidents that come into office in zambia do not die do not die so even as the lord has revealed it sir please seek for prayer surround yourself with prayer and the lord god whose i am and whom i serve will see to it that your life is preserved and the people of zambia are spared of grief and misery death is not your portion everybody will die one day but dying before your time is an error and i speak as a force in my generation i speak as a gate man to the land of zambia and to the people of zambia and i decree and i declare that every conspiracy of witchcraft 
every conspiracy from the coven of witches and wizards against the sitting president of Zambia, Mr. Hakainde Hichilima, be consumed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. You will not die before your time. We stand with you and we stand for you. That in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name, whatever has been projected against you in the realm of the spirit will catch fire will be annihilated and will be destroyed by the power of god we deplore the archangels of god that wherever you sit wherever you lay wherever you drive wherever you walk the archangels of the lord will surround you and will protect you scripture says as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord will surround his people. The Bible says in Psalm 91, he said, He will command his angels to carry you in their arms so you don't strike your foot against any stone. I pray for you, Mr. President. I pray for you, Mr. President. And I pray for you again, Mr. President, that right now, four strong archangels will surround you. The four archangels represent the four corner posts or the four cardinal points of the nation of Zambia. That whatsoever that is not permitted of God will not find you, will not locate you, will not find your children, will not find your wife, and will not find your government. And you will fulfill your purpose and fulfill your mandate in the name that is above every other name. The name called Jesus, Yeshua Hamashiach. I like to call him. The Spirit of God said there is going to be an invitation for you to attend a function. And the chair that will be offered to you is a chair that has been cooked with witchcraft. And the moment you sit on the chair, there are two things that are going to happen. You are going to develop a waist pain. And number two, you are going to develop a leg pain. If the leg pain has not already started, because in the realm of the spirit, it looks as though it has already started where your, your leg, one of your leg begins to swell. And there's this funny heat and this funny pain that comes into the leg. And the, the spirit of God said, be very careful when you are invited and you are offered a chair even the suit that belongs to me in my own closet when i pick it up before i put it on i pray over it before i put it on how much more when you are invited to a place you don't know and they offer you a chair you have to speak in your spirit sometimes you have to speak audibly and say i commit this chair i soak this chair in the blood of jesus before you sit on so you can nullify whatever evil projection they are projected onto the chair the spirit of god said because of the result of these demonic attacks there are times where your dreams will be very bad and even as a president you have funny dreams of demonic attacks where you see that you are being pursued or you are falling either you are being pursued or you are falling and if these symptoms or these signs are being shown to you then you should know that god has visited you through his man servant and therefore immediately surround yourself with prayer surround yourself with prayer your wife the first lady the spirit of god said she should desist from bragging from bragging concerning what she has and what she has achieved what they have and what they have achieved because i saw in the realm of the spirit the zambian nation complaining about your wife even concerning how she dresses extravagantly how she dresses extravagantly i saw the nation complaining but no matter what you do people will talk no matter what you do people will what people will talk especially zambians know how to talk very very much when it comes to people that are ahead of them people that are doing better than them they know how to talk about them negatively very 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 well so i would say madam president dress the way you feel comfortable dress the way you want to dress but when it comes to talking and bragging about what you have and what you have achieved the lord said desist from it because it will put your husband in a bad light in the eyes of the people you are leading the spirit of god made me to understand that there is an informant who is very close to you in your camp and this informant i am talking about they come in two dimensions there's one that comes in the physical and there's one that also comes in the spiritual the one that comes in the physical is a human being which the lord said is an informant that is giving information 
to the other camp but the spiritual one the lord revealed to me that it's a chicken and it's a male chicken now when this chicken crows in the realms of the spirit it is a call for demon entities for witches and wizards to come into your house so therefore if you have a chicken which is a male chicken you are keeping in your home whether where you presently live or another house where you know that this chicken is mine and it's a male chicken the spirit of god said the chicken should be killed instantly either the chicken is taken out of your house because that chicken has become a gateway for spirits to give information to demon spirits to come to your home and to come and attack you so your home as i'm speaking now there is a gateway for the enemy or an avenue for the enemy to be coming into your home because of a chicken that belongs to you a male chicken that belongs to you the spirit of god said be a giver and that is one of the secret weapons god is going to use to fight your enemies for you the spirit of god said be a giver and that is one of the secret weapons the spirit of god is going to use to fight your battles for you i see an evil attack in the realms of the spirit which is sickness after sickness and this sickness after sickness i saw it was projected towards your children sickness after sickness this one gets sick he or she gets well then the other one gets sick he or she gets well then the other one gets sick the enemy is on your case spiritually and i repeat again fortify yourself and gather yourself with prayer warriors to start praying for you to start praying for you some of the things the lord has mentioned to me i am not going to mention them here because i feel and i believe they are too sensitive for public consumption but i will advise that my phone lines are open my emails are also open and therefore if anyone from your camp or your office should get in touch with my office the rest of the messages i have received from god for you will confidentially be directed to your office or to your person and i repeat again confidentially confidentially so don't hesitate to get in touch with my team or with my office either via my personal email or any of our prayer lines and the rest of the messages which i feel it is too sensitive for public consumption i will gladly and willingly release them to you confidentially may god answer our prayer for the nation of zambia the people of zambia and most importantly the sitting president and his family of zambia god richly bless the people of zambia somebody will say man of god prophesy about your nation prophesy about your country prophesy about your president and leave our president alone because usually this is what zambians are good at but you see the bible you are reading and the abraham you are talking about which your family members have even adopted that name and they are calling them abraham they are not zambians it is a different nation it is not even an african nation and yet when you go to church every sunday your papa talks about it and you still go home with the headache you entered the church with we are talking of the mind of god the secrets of god the power of god we are giving you a prayer topic that you can stand on to pray to save the nation from grief and from misery so don't become too wise in your own eyes and say why is the prophet not prophesying about his country please the moses your pastor your pastor is teaching to you about it. he is not from your country he is also from another country besides the ministry god has given to me is not a ministry that is static it's a ministry that spreads to the global community so god bless those who have an ear to hear the word of god All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.